but we will not let go. We will be tenacious. Um, we will stay on this. Good evening, everybody. Our top story, Hampton Roads congressmen are introducing new legislation that would stop Chinese drywall from entering the country. This after years of complaints from local families. The Norfolk-based company that first brought Chinese drywall to Hampton Roads has since gone out of business. Many of those homes that were built with the tainted materials are now empty, abandoned by families that were worried for their health. Ten on your side to Ann McNamara is here to explain more about the new legislation. Ann? Melanie, it's called the Contaminated Drywall Safety Act, and it's a bipartisan push to stop Chinese drywall from entering the country and to regulate the disposal of the drywall that's already here. For many families, the damage already done, but they hope this bill will hold Chinese manufacturers accountable. It's the American dream. Buy a new house, move in, enjoy it with your family for years to come. But Chinese drywall made that impossible in this Virginia Beach home, one of many across Hampton Roads, built with defective boards that homeowners say smell like rotten eggs and cause health concerns. We don't know what the ramification is as far as health issues is. You know, you know for now, no please later on, we don't know. So how is it going to affect us? Arvin Goboy's first home is in foreclosure. He says he's still paying taxes on it, still feeling the financial burden of boards that made him move out. The boards he didn't know were there. Where through no fault of their own, their home has become uninhabitable. Congressman Scott Ridgell called Go Boys family and others affected by Chinese drywall to one of the abandoned properties to announce new legislation. We will not let go. We will be tenacious. Um, we will stay on this until justice is served. The Contaminated Drywall Safety Act would declare Chinese drywall a banned hazardous substance, meaning it can't be imported to the United States. The act also outlines proper disposal methods for the drywall that's already here. But most important to local families, it calls on the Secretary of State to hold the Chinese government accountable to ask China to make manufacturers of tainted drywall answer to U.S. courts. When you've got both the House of Representatives and the United States Senate saying to the administration, this is a big deal and we're not happy, that's really what this says in kind of layman's terms and get on it. You may wonder what's being done at the state level. In a statement, Senator Jeffrey McWaters of Virginia Beach says, we have tried to address this at the state level, but in the past, the truth is the federal level legislation like this, the Contaminated Drywall Safety Act, it's the only effective way to right this wrong. And of course, now the delegation will take that message to Capitol Hill. I'm Ann McNamara, 10 on your side.